Hey, Fear Minimalist, it's Ophelia Lark at thefearminimalist.com, providing trauma recovery tools to help women of color heal complex trauma. So can you really heal emotional trauma without therapy? I'm going to share three ways that that can actually happen. So keep watching. For the best trauma recovery tips, tools, and strategies, be sure to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you'll never miss a video when I upload new content every Wednesday on healing complex trauma. If you're new to my channel, I am a trauma survivor, a licensed professional counselor, as well as a certified clinical trauma professional who has used these three techniques that I'm going to show you today to help myself as well as other women heal the effects of complex trauma and build resilience. So the research seems to indicate that depending on the individual, certain underlying biological traits can either hinder or help the person achieve recovery. But there have been many people who have achieved recovery spontaneously without treatment. So how is this possible? The first way this is possible is through cultivating healthy relationships. So the, the key to healing complex trauma is healthy interpersonal relationships that help you to reverse the effects of injury and pain from relationship abuse. Now, you don't necessarily need a therapist to do this. If you have other reliable and available supports who can offer guidance and empathy and boundaries for a reparative experience, then that is actually what can help you jumpstart the healing process without therapy. So the second way that you can heal emotional trauma without therapy is by learning to flip the switch. So people who are able to heal emotional trauma without actually going to therapy, learn to distinguish between what I call hot seat arousal and cruise control. So with this practice, they learn that it's impossible to be relaxed and highly triggered at the same time. And then so once they understand that, they're able to develop a flipping the switch practice which helps to reduce that emotional charge of the fight and flight response so that over time, it becomes much more difficult for them to just shoot from zero to a hundred real quick. And so in a, a subsequent video and another video that I'm going to do, I'll actually show you how to develop that flipping the switch practice. So stay tuned for that. So maybe you've had your own experience of healing emotional trauma without going to therapy. If you have, drop a comment below to let me know how that worked for you. All right, the third and the final step is to create an intentionality plan. So you can learn to heal emotional trauma without necessarily going to therapy by creating a plan for ongoing safety and connection. This plan can include things like in, in the previous video where I talked about how to release complex trauma in five steps. I would definitely put some of those things in there. Moving your body, relaxing or resting, venting, crying, connecting to other people. Because your ability to problem solve and to mobilize, to get things moving in a more positive direction when you're triggered uh, are the keys to a successful recovery. So that is how it is possible to heal emotional trauma without necessarily going to therapy. But maybe your unique nervous system prevents you from doing that type of work all on your own without a, a treatment modality or some type of therapeutic approach. And so you may feel that, you know, I kind of need more than what this video can offer. If so, be sure to go ahead and take my free needs assessment to see if you qualify for my free four session fear minimalist coaching package that can help you explore your needs further. We can kind of delve into those root causes of what's going on and it's all for free. It, it's no cost to you. And so you can access that link by clicking the link below. Also be sure to join me on my Facebook page at fear minimalist, where I teach education based content on how to transform complex trauma into your personal power. You can access that page by clicking the link below. All right, everybody, that is it for today. If you liked this video, hit the like button below, share with your friends and drop a comment below to let me know what you took away from today's video. 
I'm always open to feedback and it's vital to help me to continue to make the content that you want to see. So go ahead and give me that feedback. I would enjoy that very much. And last but not least, be sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and click the notifications so that when I upload new content, you'll be the first to know about it. And I'll leave you with this, guys. The sun is going to rise and shine bright tomorrow. But the question is, are you going to rise with it and allow your best self to shine? I hope you do, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.